Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the one of the important concept that is nothing but an in the CSS that is nothing but an specificity. So, what is this CSS specificity? So, this is one of the important concept we need to understand. Every front end developer so needs to understand this specificity thing. So now in this video, you'll we'll see about uh, you'll we'll see about the deeper look at this specificity. A key part of this cascading algorithm let's try to see suppose let's say that we are having a button here the same thing button class is equal to btn so this button element is having a class of btn and i'm click uh, and it is having a content click here now let's say that so these all things let's close it yeah here i'm having button so i'm targeting the button element color of type red okay and here i am writing the button color of green so this is one notation now here the cascading algorithm goes through the four distinct stages that is nothing but first one is the position and order of the appearance so when considered to the position and order of the appearance so this is the newest in new instance which is coming so this will override all the things now the automatically the color will be green the next phase is the specificity if you try to see here this is an element selector and this one is also an element selector so both will have the same weightage so now here we can take it as this one so like this if you try to see now here we are getting color of green fine now let's say that i am targeting instead of this button i am using dot btn but here both of the things are specifying the same element only so both these selectors are targeting the same element only but using a different scenario that first one is targeting with an element selector and the second one is targeting with a class selector so which one will be taken more preference so here if you try to see if i try to mention it as at the top let's try to mention it as a top so now which is the newer instance so this button is the newer instance but here position and order okay so this one will be taken as a priority when we consider the position and order of the appearance but here if you try to see the second one is the specificity so here if you try to see the specificity so this has the more specific than this one so because of that reason the color will be green so if you try to see the output still the color is green because of the more specific nature so this is called as a specificity how can you say that this this is considered as the more specific <clears throat> let's try to see it now specificity is one of the four distinct stages of the cascading so now we will cover about this one each selector rule so whatever the selector rule we are using gets a scoring scoring means nothing but a points you can think of the specificity as a total score and each selector type earns points towards that score so the selector which has the highest score will win automatically so that is the thing so that means here this selector has the highest score that is the reason this one has won so that is the, that is the reason that button is in the green color now let's say that how we can score each type so let's say that for example universal selector if you are having a universal selector which is denoted with a star mark okay so this has zero points okay zero points and another one is the element selector or pseudo element or pseudo element pseudo element so these have one point okay so this consider one point now another one is the class selector so class class or pseudo or attribute selector so these are all the things any of this thing contains the 10 points so we can give it as in 10 points and another one is that is nothing but an id selector so id selector id selector has a hundred points okay id selector has the hundred points so and the another one is nothing but inline style so which you mentioned using the style attribute inline styles inline styles has the thousand points thousand points and the last one is nothing but important so for every any anything which has an important so this has the ten thousand points thousand ten thousand points we cannot override this one important has the ten thousand point 
so this is how actually the selectors uh, the points will be calculated in the css so now if i try to see here so what is this one how much points does it have if you try to see this one is having a class selector so class selector means here it is a 10 points okay so this one gets the 10 points and this one is a type selector or the element selector element selector gets the one point okay so because of that reason so this has one so which one let's try to comment out this one yeah so because of the reason dot btn has one because this is having 10 points let's say that i am having a in such a scenario that button of type btn and i am applying color of blue okay so now which one will apply here we know that this one is having 10 points okay this one is having 10 points we know and this one we know that element selector so it will have only one point but here if you try to see here we are using the combination of two selector element plus class so here we are having element selector so that means one plus and we are having a class selector class selector means it is 10 points so one plus 10 so it is equal to 11 so that means so this one has the more weightage so this one is having 11 points so then the color for this button will be blue so because of this 11 points okay so this is how we will be calculating this one so for example let's say that body button dot button so i can use this one and color of pink if i try to give color of pink now if you want to say that which one will be applied means so here we are having two element selectors so that means nothing but two each element selector carries one point one plus one two and here it is a class so plus 10 so this is equal to 12 so then so this is having the highest one so this one is having 11 10 12 and also the one so pink will be the color it will be applied if you try to see here so this is the color it has been applied so like this we can calculate the specificity and we can say that which color will be applied to the css okay so this is all about the specificity and also we can also calculate using the visualizing the specificity also but actually in the cascading in the css how it will be calculated is it will calculate the number of points visual specificity it will calculate the number of points like for something like um, id selector hyphen and it will take any class selector or pseudo class selector or attribute selector okay so the count how many are there next one is an element selector and pseudo element selector so like this it will try to say the count so for example let's say that here how many class select how many id selectors are there zero hyphen how zero and how many class selectors are there only one and how many uh, element or any selectors are there zero so this here it is total of 10 so we can also say this one as like this so that is the reason if i hover in the visual studio i will be able to get zero one zero so that means 10 so here how many id selectors are there zero and how many class selectors are there one and how many element selectors are there i can say two so zero one two so that means 12 so this one has the 12 and here how many id selectors are there zero and how many class selectors are there one and how many element means one so 11 so here i can say that zero zero one so like this visualizingly the css in the back end the algorithm will calculate like this or otherwise we can use the calculation somehow we are doing the addition thing also we can do it so this is all about the specificity concept in the css so for example if you want to increase the specificity so we can say that i can write button which has a class of button and i can write here dot btn and i can write something like this color hello so if you try to see here so how many uh, so how many id selectors are there zero and how many class selectors are there class and attribute so one now one plus one two and how many element selectors are there one so this one is having 21 points 21 points means so out of all these things so this is having the highest points then automatically the color will be yellow so because of the reason we are able to see the yellow so like this we can programmatically increase the uh, if you want to more means so you can write something like here i can write it here 
inside the body like this and here i can write something like aquamarine now it will be the aquamarine so here i will be able to see now if i want to increase more specificity means so i can write here inside the html so i'm trying to tell you html inside body and all those things and i can apply something like brown so if i try to see here it is brown so like this we can able to get the specificity thing so for the same button element so how many specificity thing we have increased the specificity to apply the desired color for this one if i apply important for this one done so we are freezing out so it came the 10,000 points always the color will be green only so we cannot do anything so this is all about the specificity in the css so hope you understood about the specificity concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you